In China, actually, it started the PC penetration started probably um, close to 20 years ago. And that was when people in the tier one cities start buying their first PCs for their kids, primarily at the time for education. Uh, you know, during the course of the last uh, 17, 18 years, now the mature markets like tier one, tier two cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, are very well uh, penetrated. It's almost like the United States. Uh, China is a country that the parents and generations after generations pays huge amount of attention to the education of their kids and always focus on education, education. So nobody wants to get left behind. And I think at a very early stage, and the parents actually buy PCs for their kids for education, that was how China, the PC penetration actually started, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, 17, 18 years ago or so. Uh, obviously now that continues. Uh, you see uh, still a lot of you know parents and kids, and they do their homework today now. A lot of their courseware is actually on a PC. Today, if I look at um, um, the Chinese New Year, every time, this is probably uh, Chinese New Year is the largest population migration uh, you know, in the world. And every year during the Chinese New Year, within that two weeks period of time, there are over 200 million Chinese people traveling across the country, visiting their relatives, going back home, uh, et cetera, et cetera. In the old days, these people have to wait in long lines to buy plane tickets or train tickets, et cetera. Now I see a lot of you know, the people who actually buying their tickets online from a personal computers, and sometimes they do it on smartphones, and uh, when they're actually traveling, they're constantly either on the phone or on the PCs and, talk, you know, you know con stay connected with their family members, constantly updating where they are, when they can get home. And it's just amazing how technologies have changed the people's daily lives. China has this initiative called Internet of Things, initiated by the state council. And the premier, uh, Wen himself, has personally actually chartered this. And this is basically a machine-to-machine -machine initiative. Connects all the devices from sensors to a control module, all the way you know, back to the you know, cloud, data center to process information. And uh, one specific example is intelligent transportation. And China was actually behind in terms of intelligent transportation. If you go to any intersections in China, uh, and, you know, many people who have been to China recently will tell you uh, how congested the traffic is in China. Uh, and each of the intersections today in China is not really intelligent because it's all set by a fixed timer. So it doesn't matter if it is traffic or no traffic, you are set at a fixed time. And now there's a major, uh, you know, redesign of this transportation uh, just for this intersection, for example, they need to put sensors on the ground. They want this whole, you know, transportation to be more uh, intelligent. Every time when I travel out to the rural parts of China, uh, it's, it almost takes me back to 15, 17 years ago in Beijing or Shanghai. And, you know, that was when, you know, 15, 17 years ago, that was when the um, consumers in the mature cities like Beijing, Shanghai, bought their first PCs. Now, if I go to the rural parts of China, I go to the farmer's house. And uh, you know, I actually went to a couple of them last year and to see how the farmers in the villages actually bought a computer, you know, um, using it, get on the internet, searching, looking for information. Um, it's amazing, and that's happening. And the desire to have a personal computer to get connected to the outside world not only just helping them to do a better agricultural work, at the same time, stay connected to the rest of the world and what's going on globally. People have this desire and hunger for information, um, what's going on, you know, stay connected to the rest of the world, uh, to outside of China. It's amazing to me, and that was the passion I saw in the mature cities 15, 17 years ago. Now I see that repeat in the rural parts of China. So nowadays, I get excited just going you know, outside of Beijing, go to the rural parts of China and really see the technology migration. It's really hype, you know, it's really happening.